bringing you guys some tips and tricks on how to have a successful Poshmark account. So I've been on Poshmark for five years now and I definitely learned a lot of tips that have helped me build my account and just make sure that I'm able to sell everything that I can. I know there's other apps also and like for example Depop but I just started getting on Depop and posting on it so I'm still trying to get the hang of it but once I do I will let you know how I'm able to sell my clothes on there. For now I just want to talk about Poshmark. Poshmark's been around for a while now so and I know Poshmark is the app that a lot of people tend to use so I just wanted to make this video for you guys since I do post a lot on my Instagram about my Poshmark and I get a lot of questions about how they want to get started and how they should start posting and things like that so I just decided to make this video to make it easier for you guys but if you're new to this channel hi my name is Emily and hopefully this video can help you before we get started with the video just want to let you guys know don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok all that is gonna be down below and on the screen here so if you guys want to see more of me go check it out that is all I have to say for this intro so let's get started with the tips okay so the first tip is definitely for you to clean out your closet and not only just cleaning out your closet but cleaning out like your accessories your shoes maybe even jewelry and just you could even I think post makeup on Poshmark you can really sell anything there I know that even like baby clothes you can sell men clothes it's very universal on things that you can sell there so definitely try to get rid of as much as you can try not to hold back on things because I know that at first I used to hold back and I'm like no like I'm still trying to wear this like if you haven't touched that item in a really long time I definitely think you should sell it it's been something that has also helped me and I even get my money back for something that I, I just bought and I just don't feel like it works for me anymore I'm not able to return it so I would just sell it on Poshmark and get almost the same amount of money back so definitely try also it, it just expanding on like what you're selling and not just focusing on clothes unless you literally only have clothes to sell then of course that's up to you but I have been selling more accessories then once it comes to just planning on what you're gonna post and what you're gonna sell I like to organize it by categories so if it's clothes I'll organize it by shorts shirts dresses sweaters like things like that so when I'm getting ready to take pictures of the items I know where everything is and when I create those piles when I'm gonna take pictures of it the process goes by quicker since I'm literally just taking off the same piece of clothing and not changing from like a shirt and then I'm putting shorts on like I feel like it's just more organized that way when you just have everything organized by section and you just try on section by section I find it the easiest so when it comes to taking pictures of your items try to make it look nice like as if it was Instagram I've noticed that when I used to take just like random pictures of it just like laying on my bed like people wouldn't buy it as quickly unless it was like a known brand that people like usually shop for so for example like Brandy Melville like if you have anything Brandy Melville I'm telling you it will be sold pretty quickly like that's definitely like the number one brand I feel that sells and Victoria's Secret on Poshmark but what I was talking about before I mentioned those two brands when it comes to taking pictures really actually try when you take your pictures I know a lot of people put their items on the floor personally if I was purchasing something I wouldn't want to see something on the floor and just like things like that so if you can or if you are gonna lay it out on a bed at least put like a white sheet behind it so that it looks nice I've also tried hanging it I have a hanger on my door of my closet so I would just hang the item there and take pictures from there that's also a really good way for people to see how the item looks like and the best way that I found for me to sell my items is me actually wearing the item when I post an item and I'm actually wearing it I feel like so many people are able to see like how it actually looks on how it fits and just like it's an easier way for them to see if they're actually gonna like it or not so definitely if you can and if you feel comfortable try taking a picture of you wearing it you don't have to put your face I don't include my face in any of the posts of my items that I've made so I just kind of like cut it at my neck if it is a shirt my Poshmark is gonna be linked down below also if you guys just want to get a couple ideas of like how I pose my items and also like of course like it's really important for you to take good pictures of what you're selling because people want to see what the actual item is and also if you have an item that has a whole or a tear or a stain please post a picture of that because it's just better for whoever's selling it and I know like you may not be like oh but it's not even that bad like people still would want to see it so really try to always include those things include pictures of it and also include it in your description box so people can see exactly what you're talking about so if you are just starting out with your Poshmark account I would definitely recommend you to add the brand's name into the title so for example if I'm selling this IMG a shirt I'm gonna say IMG a tank top or Brandy Melville pants like I realized that really helped in the beginning of my Poshmark because when people put the brand name in the search bar it's gonna be one of the first things that come up since it is a part of it and not just 
under the, the little tag where it says oh add brand so that's really helpful and always 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 put the brand of whatever your item is it definitely helps and I know also a lot of people like if they have something from forever 21 they'll tag Brandy Melville just because they want to have more exposure to the item maybe because the things under forever 21 aren't that popular if you are going to do that please put the brand name in the description box because nobody wants to buy something that's not from the original store that they thought it would be at, so don't forget that. Another beneficial thing that will really help your account is each time you post an item, always sharing it every single day. So when you're on Poshmark, you'll see like a little share button where it'll be like a like, comment, share button, always reshare your items. And sometimes Poshmark will also notify you like, hey, you haven't shared your item in three days, like reshare it. This is just going to put it back on the feed of whoever follows you and also sometimes people who follow you will also share your item so whoever follows them they will also see the item on their feed. And the clothes that I've been selling now I've been resharing a lot of my things and more people have bought it than just sitting there and me just waiting for somebody to come to my account and find it that way or just like really scroll through the brand and find it like that. So if you ever get stuck with an item that you feel like isn't selling that quick or you've been selling it for a while and like nobody really likes it or anything like that, sending private offers really Really help because you could just put like a deduction and somebody will end up purchasing it you'll be able to remind that person who did like the item like hey like this is still on sale and now I'm giving you a discount for it and another reason why I like the private offer is because if let's say five people like my picture like like that post right so then once I send them the private offer let's say nobody takes it so I'm like okay like that's fine whatever right then let's say later on the next day somebody comes and purchase it for the item I was originally selling it for so that's why I prefer doing private offers but if I see that private offers aren't working then I deduct the price off of the actual item when it comes to people commenting on your items and asking you questions about it try to respond pretty quick I know that obviously we are busy and just having the notifications on is really important so that if somebody does comment like hey like what actual size is this or can you try it on the quicker you respond the more chances they have of purchasing it because after they wait for a couple of days they're kind of like over it and kind of even forget about the item that, that they were interested in purchasing the first place also something that goes hand in hand with that last tip would be try shipping your packages quickly I know that gives you good reviews and of course you want to have good reviews on your account and also that would make people want to come back to your account and see what else you have because you ship so quickly also another good tip is to try to have great lighting in your pictures because that will also help see the color of the actual item and as you guys know great lighting does everything for you so really try sorry if the background change a little bit my camera stopped recording but you don't have to have the, the fancy ring lights or just the soft boxes even natural lighting can really just help with whatever you're selling so that is all I have to say about my Poshmark account and the tips and tricks that I have for you guys I hope this benefits you let me know if they work for you and if you do have any Poshmark accounts leave it down in the comments below so I can go follow you guys and if you want to follow me my Poshmark account is at Emily Lovera's also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to click on that bell so you can have my post notifications on. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and all my other social medias that are linked down in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and you felt like these tips are going to help you. But that is the end and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!